leftists, including South African leaders, have accused Israel of, of being an apartheid state. Uh, the Jews of Israel being apartheid towards the, the Arabs and Muslims. What do you say to that? No, I, th I think it's absurd. Israel is, if there is apartheid in Israel, it's the Jews who are discriminated against. And they're discriminating against themselves. And, uh, and they allow the, the Arab world to become arrogant and brazen and demanding and discriminate against them. So um, the, the accusation is totally erroneous. And actually, as I said before, Israel, in trying to be as a truly democratic state, has really uh, damaged itself rather than, than anything else because it's, um, it's, it's made concessions to the enemy which, which should clearly not have been made. What do you think of the idea that uh, Abbas uh, demands that a future Palestinian state to include Judea and Samaria be Judenrein, that no Jews should be allowed to uh, uh, continue to reside in Judea? <laughs> well, that's no surprise. Why? They want all of Israel. They want there's there's going to be no Jews in all of Israel. I I'm sure you're familiar with Itamar Marcus's work, Itamar uh, documents, uh, uh, Arab television. He calls it Palestinian Media Watch (PMW), and he takes he takes uh, uh, pieces straight from the PA television uh, to to illustrate his points yes, and yes. we've seen this where you know the the um, the maps in the Arab schools show all of Palestine under Arab control there's no place for Jews in that world and, and this is your definition of Palestine is geographically what it's it's uh, all of Israel as we know it it doesn't include Jordan and of course oh, oh. you know originally that whole uh, uh, huge chunk of Israel that was in the original mandate was chopped off and given to Jordan. So we say Jordan is Palestine. But um, the Arabs, when they, when they describe uh, their, their state, it's all of Israel as we see it. Not, it's not Judea and Samaria. Haifa, uh, Akko, Tel Aviv. Of course, of course, of course, of course. And, and um, uh, you know, we we know that they. First of all, it's it's the takeover, the takeover in the cities. If you go into Jaffa today, it's an Arab city. It's it's uh, really dealing with a problem, a very serious problem of intermarriage between Arabs and Jews. Something people don't realize. Jewish women typically marrying. It's Jewish women being wooed. By maybe they come from poor homes, maybe they're you know immigrant families. Uh, the Arab boys come in with uh, you know promises and sweet talk and maybe some money, and uh, woo the girls. They marry into these families, and then it's just disaster. And then and then you know special organizations have to be set up to rescue them. Uh, you go into the city of Akko. I love Akko. It's right on the on the Mediterranean. A beautiful old city, the f the prison there that uh, you know has this terrible story of uh, the Jewish prisoners who who were murdered by the British there, um, and uh, the whole city is primarily Arab, and the yeshivas that are, exist there are being they they have their windows broken, they're oh, stoned, yeah. they're the boys are threatened when they come out for some chastower dancing or something. It's a it's a disaster situation. Uh, you can go from Haifa is uh, is very largely a an Arab city, uh, you, and you go into the hospitals. You go into the hospitals in Haifa. You go into Beersheba. You go into um, in Jerusalem. It's they're filled with Arabs. Arabs taking advantage of uh, Israel's largesse, of Israel's uh, 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 medical sciences, all the rest of Social it, welfare. everything. And uh, there's no appreciation for it. You know, um, member of Knesset, uh, Dr. Aryeh El Dodd, who was a Surgeon General in the uh, Israeli oh, yeah. Army, his specialty is in burn treatment, yeah. and he tells the story of uh, an Arab woman, uh, a would-be terrorist who 
burned herself badly in trying to uh, set off a bomb. He treated her. He healed her. She was in the Israeli hospital getting the very, very, very best treatment from the expert in burn treatment and she left she left the hospital and then went right back to trying to be a bomber again yes yes so Eldad says you know that this is the there's no way to re-educate these people and to retrain them and to and to do enough nice things for them so that they'll be appreciative they they'll take advantage of all the good things and then go right back to their early teachings, and we know when you teach children at a young age, and you teach them hatred, they never lose it. That hatred is part of their DNA, and this is what's happened in the Arab society in Israel. The hatred has been embedded inside them, and there's no way to cure that. And so any talk of the lion and the lamb existing side by side yeah. is so futile and so self-deceiving that you know we we marvel we marvel that anyone can believe in this so the, the notion of a Palestinian state or a two-state solution does is that a solution for Israel's <laughs> peace absolutely not yeah. absolutely not it could never be the solution I mean Israel would go along with it Israel would give away everything there's even a satire that we read about how Israel finally got the Jerusalem bus station as its state. It's got unthreatened, it got the oh, Jerusalem bus station, yes. They, they gave away everything but. They gave away everything else and they had that and everyone is rejoicing, we have the bus station. And oh. then the Arabs came and said, well, but you can't have the whole bus station. You know, I mean, maybe we'll give you the basement, but we need the upper levels. And so, you know, it's a satire, but it's, it's just the way it is. You know, there's nothing that Israel can give that will be enough except for Israel to absolutely empty out uh, its Jewish presence from the entire country and turn it over to the Arabs. And are you going to let that happen? Are you going to let that happen? Am I? <laughs> we are fighting every day, every day to prevent it from happening. And, and we add our very sincere prayers and our tears to that. And, and your efforts to, uh, to come out and, and stand up and demonstrate and protest and rally wherever possible. Yep. We do that. We're AFSI's are always in the forefront. You can spot us everywhere. So uh, those of you who are interested in learning more about our organization, Americans for a Safe Israel, go to our website, AFSI, AFSI.org. You'll learn a lot about us. You know how to contact us. And, uh, and we welcome you aboard. We need your help. We need the help of every single person we can recruit because we must save Israel. Thank you. I'm Israel Khai.